we've heard a fair bit of debate on the federal carbon tax in the provincial house of assembly this week uh, what would your message to residents be who maybe are worried that it'll in increase their cost of home heating fuels unfortunately there's a lot of misinformation uh, going on on this and i'm really appreciate the opportunity uh, to first remind people that we need to fight climate change uh, as Goody pointed out, we were in Port of Basque uh, just a few months ago, uh, seeing the devastation that happens as we get more and more extreme weather events. Uh, we know that climate change is real. We know we have to do what we can to reduce emissions and fight it. But we also know we have to do that in a way that continues to support families. That's why we brought in a price on pollution that is one of the world leading prices on pollution with a model that is unique to Canada, that actually puts more money back in the pockets of the average Canadian families than the price on pollution actually costs them in a given year. So not only are we sending clear price signals to, uh, to businesses and to innovators to keep moving forward on reducing emissions and investing in clean technology, but we're putting more money in the pockets of families uh, right across Canada uh, because of this price on pollution. This is a measure that both helps with affordability and fights climate change. So when conservative politicians say they would uh, scrap the price on pollution, what they're actually saying is we will do less to fight against climate change and we will be taking money away from families who are counting on these climate action incentives uh, to continue to find things affordable.